Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today I have a small Dollar Tree haul for you. But the main reason that I am getting this out there now is because I did a dining room remodel with the items that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna do the haul now and then I'm gonna show you the things that I picked up so that I could revamp my dining room for spring and summer. And let me just say this, pink, and flamingos. You don't want to miss these items because flamingos are huge this year. So if you're not subscribed to go ahead and do so because I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I do sneak peeks there of things I find at Dollar Tree and you get to see them first before I haul them or show them in a come with me to the Dollar Tree. And I also let you see my weight loss journey. I am over 25 pounds down on keto in less than eight weeks. So let's go ahead and get started and let me show you what I picked up. Okay, you may remember last Dollar Tree haul, I showed you these absolutely adorable little paper plates that I picked up. Let's see if I can get that to show up. See, they've got the blue around them. They have the mason jars and all the fruit. These were so cute. This time when I went in, I found the napkins that match and let me tell you, they are just as stinking cute as the plates, okay? The ones that I ended up picking up were the lemons. And look how bright those are, but let me show you. They're shaped like little lemon wedges. That's what makes them so cute. They also had these in oranges, shaped like oranges, and in watermelons. What? They were so adorable. So make sure you're on the lookout for those. So it looks like for our next cookout, this is going to be the theme. Okay, I found a candles and you know I'm a little candle obsessed. I did show these in the come with me to the Dollar Tree. I'll have that linked below in the description box and also in the cards for you. But they had another one and I only picked up this one. So make sure you watch that video. There are tons of new name brand items in it that you might wanna see. But this is the old Williamsburg, and it's the one that looks like, you know, your little Starbucks cup, you know, the coffee flavored. I love the old Williamsburg that are in the coffee flavor. They have an amazing throw, and I don't know about you, but I love the smell of coffee. This one is more of a gray candle, and this is the old Williamsburg Colombian cold brew scented candle. We have the little black coffee lid on it, Wow, that one is strong. I can't wait to burn it. I'll go ahead and probably start burning it today. I'm excited about it. But when you're done with these, this little part comes right off. If you stick these in your freezer with just a little bit of the wax left and you, I usually leave it in there for 24 hours, you can pop those uh, pieces of wax right out, wash this up and reuse it for something else. I like to stick mine in my medicine cabinet and put little things in it like little perfumes and stuff like that. But I wanted you to know that they have this one out and I believe um, the other one may be chocolate. I'm not sure, but they both smell amazing. And then the other one that I picked up was one I'd seen several times and I'm not sure why I didn't get it. I really don't know, but I went ahead and picked it up to put in the dining room since I'm going to do a little remodel and it's pink. It is one of the new Old Williamsburg that's out and it is the guava coconut. When you take the lid off of this thing and smell, it smells amazing. I am crossing my fingers that it has a great throw because it smells so good. It smells so tropical and so summery. Okay, I'm not sure about where you live, but here in Tennessee, we are on the home stretch for the kids being out of school. And I always like to send in a little something for our teacher at the end of the year. Plus, we also have Teachers Appreciation Week and all that coming up. And Dollar Tree has some adorable new little plaques in. The one I picked up, I'll show a better picture of it because I'm sure it's not coming out too good right here. But it's the wooden one. It's got the little bracket on the back so you can hang it up if you want. Um, it's got the burlap trim and then the picture looks like plank wood and it says, Teachers Who Love Teaching, teach children to love learning. That is so cute. And I wanna put this in like a little basket or bucket for her and put some little extra stuff in it and send it to Briley's teacher. They have in, like I said, many, many designs. So check that come with me to the Dollar Tree so you can see all the other ones. 
They have, I think, two that are galvanized if you're interested in those, and then a black one with an apple, but this is the one that I like best. Okay, two randoms before I take you to my dining room and show you the pieces that I picked up at Dollar Tree for there. But I picked up one of the splatter guard things. This is just a splatter screen and we have been making so much stuff on the stove lately from hamburgers to bacon and sausage that I felt it was about time I get one of those because let me show you. got a huge burn right here from the bacon I made last night. <sighs> Grease burns are the worst. So I'm gonna give this a shot. So make sure you stick around and I will tell you how good it is. And then my last product before we go to the dining room is <laughs> One of my favorite because this is like $2 cheaper at Dollar Tree. This is the Lime Away and it's for lime, calcium, and rust and you use it in your toilet bowl. This stuff is amazing. I always picked it up at Walmart and it's almost $3 there. What? But this stuff works. I mean, it takes, if you have hard water, because we do, we don't have any filtration systems on our water. So we have lots of buildup. This will eat it right off. Probably not the best chemical wise, but it is the best to keep your toilet bowl from getting that buildup. So if you've not tried the Lime Away, I highly suggest it. Okay, so now let's go into the house, into the dining room, and let me show you the flamingo pieces and the pink decor I picked up at Dollar Tree that is brand new and I was super excited about. I picked up several new pieces to completely rearrange my dining room and I'm gonna show you what I got. I picked up two of these. These flowers are your Black Eyed Susans, but they're pink and cream colored and I thought that they are so pretty. And then I picked up two of these. Which ones are these? Okay, like I'm even gonna know how to pronounce that. Hi, Cynthia, hi, Cynthia. Okay, you guys let me know <laughs> phonetically how this is supposed to be said. Anyways, gorgeous bright pink colors, picked those up. And then I just got one of the tall vases and a thing of the burlap. Does it tell how long this is? It is two yards, it says two and a half inches by two yards. And I'm going to wrap this. They have in their placemats in a lot of different colors right now to match the themes. So I went ahead and picked up six of these to go on the table and then check out the new canvas wall art. Seriously, this is amazing. So I picked up this one. It's the bright pink and it's got the gold glitter accent in the center. Gorgeous. And then I picked up one of the flamingos also. The gold accents on there. Flamingos people, is that not amazing? Okay, you guys have seen my dining room possibly a million times every time I do a grocery haul. That is if you watch it. Um, recently, while we were out of town on spring break to DC, my mom put in all these accent pieces. I never had the placemats or these flowers and stuff. Most of it is farmhouse and I'm gonna keep that, but I found several new pieces that I thought would look good for spring and summer in here and it would give it a pop of color just for, you know, maybe a month or so. So let me show you how I'm gonna redecorate it, but let me show you what I've got going on now. I've got the blue pieces, some blue flowers in here. Over here is just this end table, and you will probably recognize 99% of this stuff as all Dollar Tree. Um, this is a Dollar Tree DIY done, another one, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, it's all Dollar Tree. This entire thing is a Dollar Tree DIY. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, all Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, down here, Dollar Tree, just lots of Dollar Tree stuff. Over here, I have these two pieces that are from Dollar Tree. A subscriber gave that to me, isn't it gorgeous? I never found it in any of my stores, and then I purchased this one. I love the little wall art canvas pieces that go here. Okay, so that is my dining room, and let me show you how I'm going to transform it for summer for just a few dollars. All I did with the vase was I took the burlap and completely wrapped it around. That way you won't be able to see any of the flowers on the inside, you know, the stems because that's always so ugly and I didn't want to fill it with a ton of other stuff. So I just wrapped it completely around so you can't see through and I glued that on. And here's how it turned out. So for, I'm sure, under $20, 
it just completely made the dining room look different. Again, here is the centerpiece that I did. I just had the base, I wrapped it in the burlap and then put the flowers in here. The table just has the six placemats. Over here on the wall, I replaced these two pictures that I had up there that were more farmhouse with something more summery and pink. And like I said, I'm only gonna keep these up for a little while. Did add some more ivy up on top of this picture. And over here on this table, I added just a pink candle and I'd like to have maybe one more little pink accent to go right here, but that's it. And that's all it took to redecorate the kitchen for spring and summer. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope everyone has a great day. Make sure you check out some more of my videos, follow me on Instagram, and if you are as obsessed with cardigans as I am, I'm gonna have this one from Shein linked below for you. I've already ordered it in more colors. I am just loving cardigans this spring and this one has little pockets in it. It's really thin enough to wear. Sorry, this is not sponsored nor an advertisement. You guys ask me about stuff like this. So I'll have the cardigan linked below for you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.